Hey guys, welcome back to the Heavy Metal Horizons channel. We do aviation, cars, and radio here. And I have put together an incredibly capable, but also incredibly low cost emergency radio kit, or you could even say emergency communication kit. Now myself, I put this whole thing together for about $45. And there are, uh, it's the box, plus there are two radios inside here and a cable. Uh, that connects them, and I'll get into all this stuff in a second. But $45, that's, you know, I found a few things on sale, like I got the best prices I could find on the different components, and even if you pay like full retail price for all of this stuff, worst case scenario, you're looking at like $65, $70. That's the most you're going to pay for this. And if you can find a few deals on stuff like I did, it's going to be uh, quite a bit less than that. Okay, now what does this do and why would you want this? Well, this is a kit that you can kind of stash away in case of an emergency or alternatively, you could take it with you camping or something like that. You could keep this in your car, you could keep this uh, in your house. If you're a pilot, this is light enough, you could carry it in the plane. And like I said, this has two different radios in it. One of them covers your regular broadcast radio, AM, FM, it also serves as a Bluetooth speaker. It's got some other really key features that I'll get into in a second when I show you the individual pieces. And then the other one is a pretty standard, like low cost VHF transceiver, like a walkie talkie or a handheld style radio. And the two specific radios I have in here work together in a way that uh, pretty much covers just about any situation you're gonna need. And to be able to put this together for like less than $70 or maybe even under 50, you can cover a huge number of bases for very little money. Okay, now let's get into the individual pieces of this here and how you can put this together. But real quick, if you guys enjoy videos like this and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's start off with the box. Uh, this is the, uh, the Sheffield field box. It's basically like a plastic ammo can and you can get these online or you can find them for sale in a lot of different stores. I uh, found this one on sale for five dollars uh, at one of the local Ross stores, right? You know, my wife uh, dragged me out there. She wanted to look at some dresses and shoes and stuff and I was looking at like the one aisle of guy stuff, tools and everything. They had a bunch of these for sale. Uh, I bought one of these. Now, uh, obviously, it's got a handle. It's you know sturdy plastic. The coolest thing about this is it has a rubber seal on the inside of the lid here. So these are watertight, which means two things. One, as long as this is closed and that seal is working, it's watertight so you can have it out in the rain. The stuff inside is not going to get damaged. The other thing, there's enough open volume inside this box where this is going to float in the water. So if... I guess you could have it on a boat or if you were in a plane and you had to ditch or something, uh, you could throw this out the window and it's going to be floating there in the water and you're still going to, you know, it's going to keep your, your radio safe and everything. Now, let's look at the radios themselves. There's two in here. This is the first one right here. This is the QFX R37. Now, at first glance, it's a pretty standard, like, multifunction radio. Uh, but it's got some really important features here, which is why I chose it. So it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's a standard AM FM broadcast radio. It also covers the short wave bands, which is really cool. And uh, you can play like, you know, you can put a USB stick or a uh, micro SD card in here. So you can play MP3 tracks or something. Not really that useful in an emergency situation, but it's still kind of fun to have. Um, but the two really big things is it has a light, really nice bright light on here. And then the other thing, which is uh, the, the key thing, this whole thing has a fold out solar panel and you can charge the battery in this radio off of the solar panel. And then you can go out, it's got a USB out, a power out port on here. So you go, you know, five volts DC, power out from here and you can you know charge your phone or whatever so you use the solar panel to charge it up it can run the radio run the light and it serves as a usb uh, battery pack that you can use to charge other things and if you look inside here even cooler 
the battery it uses, one, it's removable, so you could bring a backup if you wanted to, but these are the standard 18650 lithium ion batteries. So uh, the battery itself is really good. And like I said, if you wanted to get a backup, a second battery, uh, you could get that and throw it in here and keep it in the box as well. So that alone is an incredibly cool little radio and it actually sounds pretty good too, which is a nice little bonus. Now this radio, I also bought uh, at that same store for $15. And I apologize for the, uh, the phone footage here, but I just want to show you, I really did buy it uh, for 15 bucks at the, at the store along with the field box. But if you pay full price for this stuff, you know, if, like if you order online or something, the radio is around $25. And then these boxes are usually about $12. So that's the first radio. Now the second radio is, you ham guys will be familiar with this. I'll put the uh, antenna on here. This is the standard Quanxing UVK6. So a lot of people have been talking about these radios lately because, uh, you know, it's like a ham GRMS radio, but it has a customizable firmware that you can install on these radios to like open up the capabilities. But we're not even talking about any of that stuff today. Just right out of the box, these are incredibly cool and incredibly capable little uh, VHF or U VHF UHF transceivers. Now I'll talk a little bit more about this radio in a second, but the absolute key here to this whole system, this whole uh, kit, is that this radio you can charge off of a USB port. It's a USB-C plug. So you plug this in and then you plug it into your uh, the other radio which you can charge off of the solar panel and you now have unlimited power. So with this radio you've got all the, uh, the standard AM, FM broadcast bands plus shortwave plus the light and the solar panel, it charges the unit. You've got your power here, and then you plug this in here, and now you've got all your VHF communication. And this radio, if you pay full price online, it's like about 30 bucks. But I bought one of these off of AliExpress for like $18 or something ridiculous like that. So if you shop around, you can get screaming good deals on these radios. Okay, and just to show you that this does work, I've got this plugged in here, and we take this radio, the switch over here, which like turns the light on, we switch this to output, and then we plug this into the USB out, like that. And can you see that, can you see that little blue light there that came on? That's the charging light. Now let's talk a little bit more about this radio. So out of the box, with no modifications or anything. Uh, this is a dual band ham radio. So it's VHF and UHF. So it operates uh, receiving and transmitting on the two meter and then the 70 centimeter ham bands. Also in an emergency situation, you can even transmit uh, out of the ham band. So like you could, you know, that two meter uh, ham band is like 144 megahertz in that range. But you can go up into like 150, 160, 170 megahertz, which is usually more for like corporate radios and things like that. And there are still uh, some, you know, search and rescue and, you know, firefighting services and that kind of stuff that use radios in that 150 plus uh, megahertz range. So you could theoretically contact emergency services through this radio. The other thing is you can monitor the airband, so AM aviation radio. You could monitor that, and you can also pick up all of the NOAA weather channels. So it's obviously, it's a great little radio to have uh, in the case of a power outage or a natural disaster or something like that, uh, both for communication and for situational awareness, just monitoring everything that's going on around you. And like I said earlier, I mean, this, this whole idea, right, Think about it, you know, the power's off, the cell towers are down, uh, your normal modes of communication are not working. So you've got your communication and situa situational awareness through this radio, and then you've got your light and your power generation through this radio. And they work together thanks just to that basic USB cable. And with the box that keeps it, uh, you know, keeps it watertight, keep it protected, there's even still enough space in this box you could throw in a bottle of water or maybe 
um, you know, just whatever else you wanted to have, you know, maybe a multi-tool or something like that, some zip ties or something, just a few extra things to have in there in case of an emergency. And the whole thing, if you pay top dollar for it, it costs about $65, $70. And if you shop around, I bet you could get it for about 50, maybe even less. Now, the other thing that I'll just mention really quickly about these radios is people love these radios because they are inexpensive. And like I mentioned earlier, you can do all kinds of crazy firmware upgrades and massively expand the capabilities of these radios. Of course, you can uh, hook it up to a much larger antenna if you want to. That's another thing that's cool is you take this off and then the antenna and the radio fits in the box. Um, but if you want to, you know, if you want to geek out on these things, you can do a single side or single sideband, dual sideband. Uh, you can open up a whole bunch of other frequencies that you can transmit on. I think there's some people that can even do uh, CB uh, radio with these. I haven't really gotten into that too much. And I, just to be clear, out of the box, this radio does not do that stuff. It just does the uh, the standard VHF UHF bands. But if you want to get crazy, you can turn these radios into a super, super capable ham radio. Okay, now the last couple of things I'll say here is if you are using this where you put this in the box and you stash this away somewhere in case of an emergency, please, in the box, put the manual to the radios uh, in here because the worst thing you want to be doing is get into an emergency situation and then have no idea how to use the radio. That would be bad. So just include the paper manual in there as well. But guys, my question to you now is what do you think of this kit? And do you think, uh, you know, we've got a little space in this box. Do you think there's anything else that's really essential that you should include in this, bo in this box along with this kit? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, if you're watching and you want to put together the same kit, I'm going to have links for this stuff down in the video description below. Um, you don't have to use those links, but you know, they're there if you want to use them. And the th thing is, you know, shop around, right? Because like, I'll probably put an Amazon link for the radio, but you can also get the, the transceiver, the Quan Ching uh, UV K6. You can get that on AliExpress and save some money. And of course, these, these field boxes, a lot of, lot of stores sell these and you can probably get a really, really good deal on them uh, if you buy one in person. Like I said, I got this one for $5. Killer deal. So guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of all this stuff and what you think of this uh, emergency radio kit I put together down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.